way up to Ubud and we found this. It's a Tyrannosaur. Check it out. Oh my God, it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay, good day. Today is Tupok Landup. Tupok Landup is a Balinese day where we honor machines and we're going to take a spin up to Ubud to check out the world's best hotel. Since our motorbike is a machine, it gets offerings today. We're going for hunt for food and after go to Ubud. Yeah. What are you laughing at? Jingjo <laughs> Yang, like fall up to the, the, the ditch <laughs> and, then, and then watch it. <laughs> Just fell down. You fell down? Where? Where, where did you fall down? In Over the there? Ditch, in the ditch. And where did you get wet? Your jacket got wet? The hub. Doing. Corona shit. Headshot. Wow, inside. Wow, cool. Anyways, the hub is kind of a cool spot. They got a very big menu, a lot of good things. It feels like a, a little bit like a North American place. We've been coming here for a while. The pizzas are pretty big. The shrimp and steak. The steaks, this is supposed to be really meaty. The space is actually really cool. It's very industrial, so as you can see. Um, made by this company called Copy Bali which uh, sells kind of coffee art everywhere. I think this is one of their toys. All right, babe, go. Di zaman tarajani Pemilu sebepak Dengan wagemang suara So we just took a ride down the street here in Ubud and uh, it's more empty than, uh, it's actually more empty than anywhere else we've seen in Bali. The next place we're gonna go here is Pisan. So we looked and this was actually one of the busiest parking lots in Ubud. So we'll check it out. Wow. This is actually pretty good looking but you have to wait and so well, I'm not in the mood to wait right now. We decided not to go to Pisan and we decided instead to come to Seniman Coffee and Espresso. Double the pleasure. Butter croissant. So we got back to Capella and uh, it's during the daytime this time. And hopefully what we'll be able to do is to take a look at one of these tents, which are pretty amazing. It is raining. So we're going down the stairs right now, and uh, it's pretty exciting. It feels like a, uh, feels like a kind of adventure just being here. And is every tent designed differently? Yes. Wow, so you can come here every time and have a different experience. <laughs> this is the pool, it's called the cistern. And when you come up on the pool, wow. It feels industrial and you go over this drawbridge and the drawbridge actually bounces as you're going over it. It's like a pool pump and the cistern. This is the pool and it looks back up to the air. I just noticed something actually. This entire pool is a steel box. Boxes, And there's this amazing rain shower too that comes over here and it, it overflows. Wow, this is <laughs> And tell me about the trees again. Uh, sure, you can see how we can see about the that tree concept in Capella uh -huh. during the building. So there is no trees, it's cut. Okay. That is an uh, example for uh, Palemahan. Yes. And Pawongan. So you can see all of the college are smile and happy here. Okay. That's why we have a good connection human to human. And nice. the last about Parhiangan, uh -huh. connection to the God. You can see we have like the temple yes so when it's the hindu people when they come here before they start to walk they get in permit and they can uh, praying at the temple oh yeah. and also that we have a uh, was river temple at downstairs a river temple too as well sure wow Which is the, all of the uh, people in this kaliki village they can use it for ceremonial excellent okay we're gonna go into the horn this collector's place. tent first let's go through wow all right nice pathway 
and another drawbridge. Wow, that's just so dramatic. Whoa, okay, bouncy drawbridge and amazing. Wow, sweet. Look at that view. Right across the canyon and wow. Okay, you step inside and it's it's so rich. Like the details are just like everywhere. Um, beautiful view right here from the writing table out onto the, the canyon. It's truly inspirational sitting on this chair, looking out onto the canyon and then swinging it around, you see just so much detail, so much decor. Um, I guess it's really hard to miss the floor. The floor is like this kind of texture and you, you feel it right away as you come in. Okay, all right, going on over into the, the bath area. Oh my God, wow, look at that. That's just classic. And the one thing you kind of notice as you're going through this place is the smell. It just smells like incredible. Um, it smells like, it smells like something else. And this bathroom set amenity is beautiful. And you just keep on going across different textures. This is, this is the bathtub. Wow. Okay, cool. And then this is your throne. Literally, this is where, uh, yeah, expulsion happens. And wow, it's just, I'm blown away by the, the quality of design here. All right, this is the officer's tent and it's just like is lush. So lush. It's like being inside of a, God, it's like being inside of a movie set or something. It's just details everywhere. Um, you got old radios, you got the billiard table. Wow, float around. Here, check that out. Old radios. There's like some, some gods up there looking over us. And hello. Okay, hi. And really just comfortable spaces everywhere to sit and just chill. Relax and uh, coffee machine over here. Get some coffee going on, and this is like the little mini bar. Wow, really just from a different time. An amazing adventure here at Capella. I've had uh, Yogi show me through the entire spot. And Vishnu, I caught up with him yesterday, and we talked about uh, Barang Landung and Balinese culture. It's been really enjoyable. So thank you very much, Capella, for bringing us through. Yeah. My pleasure. My pleasure. Okay. Thank All right. You. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. So visiting Capella has been sort of an inspirational experience because during this time we saw what is possible actually, and what actually makes a great hospitality organization work. So part of our Mission is to inspire delight. And by coming here, I feel inspired. I feel delighted. I feel like, like it's cemented a vision for what is possible when you focus on thinking about guests and thinking about what a guest might experience on their trip and how that connects to local history, culture, and some of the more theoretical stuff, but it's still very, very exciting. So anyhow, that's this edition of Traveling with Jing and Wayana through Bali with Buga Vista and hopefully tune in again and see our next episode. Yeah.